Hello and welcome back. This video is the part 2 for how to make a gravity gun. If you haven't watched part 1, please go ahead and do so now. If you have, then in this video, we'll be making an effect like this. Let's get started. Let's start by making the laser beam. First, we go to the content browser, right click, and create a material. Name it laser. Double click on the created material, and you can start editing it. In the description, you will find two picture files. Those picture files will be the texture for our laser beam. When you have them downloaded, drag them into the content browser. Select both of them, and drag them into the material graph. Now we have our texture samples inside the material graph. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Let's start by adding a panner node. There are two ways to do that. One way is to right click and type panner. But in Unreal Engine, there are some shortcuts. And to do that, hold P down on your keyboard and click anywhere in the material graph. Then a panner node will be added automatically. Connect the panner node to the UVs of the second texture sample. With the panner node selected, go to the details panel and change speed X to 1. Then, we need to add an add node. To do that, we keep pressing A on the keyboard and click anywhere in the material graph. Then we have an add node. Connect the first texture sample and the second texture sample to the add node. Then we need to right click and add a power node. This will focus the laser more. Connect the add node to the base of power and change the power to 3. Next, click anywhere in the material graph and in the details panel, change the blend mode to translucent. Right click again, and type particle color. Then we need to add two multiply nodes. Keep pressing M and click anywhere on the material graph. Do it a second time. Connect the power node to the first multiply and connect it to the second multiply. Then connect the first pin of the particle color to the first multiply and connect the last pin of the particle color to the second multiply. Connect the first multiply to the emissive color and connect the second multiply to the opacity. Now we can compile this material by going to the top left corner and clicking apply. When your material has finished compiling, go back to the content browser and create a particle system by right-clicking and select Particle System. Give it a name and double-click to open it. Now you will see this window. It looks really complicated, but don't worry, it's very simple. First, select Color Over Life and delete it. Do the same for Initial Velocity. Now right-click and add a type data new beam data. Then right click again, go to color and select initial color. Now right click again, go to beam and add source. Do the same but this time add a target. Now select target, go to target method and change it to user set. Do the same for source. The initial color is the color of the laser. So let's change it to something we like. Now go to required and change the material to be the material we created. Then go to beam data and change the speed to be 5000. Now save the particle system. Let's go back to the first person character blueprint now. And we need to add this particle system into the blueprint. So go to Add Component, and select Particle System. With Particle System selected, go to the Details panel, 
and change the particle template to be the particle system we created. Now we need to set the particle system in the blueprints. Remember in the last video, we created a variable and named it object. We need to set it. So go to grab component at location, drag it out and select set object. Connect it. And the component we want to set is the component the line trace hits. So connect it to object. Next, go to event tick, get the holding variable, and make a branch node. Now the logic here is that if we are holding an object, then we want to show the laser. But if we are not holding the object, then we want to hide the laser. So let's drag the laser into the blueprint. From the pin, drag out and type set active. Tick the two boxes. Next, drag out again and type set visibility. Set it to true. Next, we need to set the source point and the target point. The source point will be the sphere, and the target point will be the object. Drag out of the laser, and type set beam source point. Connect it, and the source point is the sphere, so we drag the sphere in, and get its location. We need to do the same for the target point. So drag out of laser, and type set beam target point. And the target point will be the object's world location. So get object, drag out of the object, and type get world location. Connect the world location to the new target point. The last thing we need to do is when we release the object, we need to hide the laser. So drag the laser in, and type set visibility and set visibility to false. Compile and save and go back to the viewport. If we go and pick something up now, we have this laser effect. But something is off, there is this red line. So let's go and turn it off now. Go back to the first person character blueprint, go to line trace by channel and change the draw debug type to none. Compile and save. And now when we go and pick up objects, or when we click, we don't have this red line. And the effect is very clear. So I hope you enjoyed this video series. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, then please comment as well. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 200 likes. And be sure to stay tuned for future tutorials. See you soon!